Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back in another video. Today I'm just going to uh, quickly show you how to pre-compose in Vegas Pro. I know this tutorial might seem quite simple and honestly it is, but I really don't have any other ideas. Just comment down below if you need to know or you want me to make a tutorial on something and I will probably do because I don't have anything else to make a tutorial on. Anyways, let's get started and I will see you in Sony Vegas. Okay, so now in my project, it's just quite simple. Um, I didn't do anything about it. It's just one, a one clip scrap project, but here I'm going to show you. So you have your song, but first off, let's talk about what is this function even useful for? Well, basically in Vegas Pro, you have this issue where you can only use one single preset on a kill. And if you're like me, you like to have a preset of your own impact, which you made. Um, but maybe you're really bad at transitions like me. And you just want to use a preset for that too. That just can't be done without pre-composing. So today I'm going to show you how to apply multiple presets. First, I'm going to find the beat, which is right there. Wait, I'll turn I'll the audio down for you guys, so it's not too loud. Okay, so here's, here's the beat I want to transition to beyond. Mark it, and call it transition one, and split it right there. Next, to pre-compose the clip, you just click on here, and first of all, pre-render it, or else it will probably crash because Vegas Pro isn't the best software as you can see there's the beat and then to pre-compose it select the clip clip or clips you want to have in the pre-comp and click this little create nested timeline or you could just press alt and C on your keyboard or just click down here I'm just going to, for the sake of the tutorial. I just going going. To, I am just going to click down there. But when you are working quick, quick, and uh, you want to have things to be done quick, just press Alt and C on your keyboard, and you will be good to go. Now just click that, and this will come up. Name it anything you want, but I'm just going to leave it as the default since it makes nice name. Since it makes pretty nice names, which are easily recognizable as a nested timeline or a pre comped timeline. So once you save it, it you'll, will just start loading and open your files and it will render it as a SVHP, which is a nested timeline or a pre comped Vegas Pro timeline. Now you're in here and you think, where the hell is my project? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to swear there, but you think, where's my project? What? How do I go back? Well, uh, down here is a button, but you can later always adjust the pre-comp, but to go back to the main composition, to move out of the nested timeline, you click this button right here, and you will move back to the um, original timeline. Now when you render it, you will see the effects are still on there. effects are still on there but we can freely apply a new preset and this can be done as many times as you want so you this may be useful if you're doing a, a mask masking effect but it's pretty complex and you want to have it to have it organized and stuff or just to to use an impact preset and a transition preset or even any other preset on the same clip so now if we go into fx and um, let's get a zoom out. Okay. And just move the keyframes to the end. It will work just perfectly fine. So 
uh, yeah, that was basically it for the tutor this tutorial. But this shows you how to easily apply multiple uh, preset on any clip in Vegas Pro. Um, I hope that helped you with this. And uh, anyways, have uh, fun with this tool. Or maybe you're not even going to use it. But thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next tutorial.